So here you go. I know you don't know what this is. But that's for you, okay? What? And all your paperwork's in there. Okay? That's all for you, okay? This is what I'm doing for my birthday. I'm purchasing some properties and dedicating them to my daughter because this is Thanksgiving, right? It's the time for giving, the time to be thankful. I am going to hand her the deeds to these four parcels. It's all about creating that leverage and creating that opportunity for our kids and for the, the future generation. So we just finished closing on those properties. It's not a green light, so shout out to Title. Andrew over there, he did a really good job. Excited to add those four properties to my portfolio. So we got Norwood over here working because it never stops so this property in particular I purchased via an auction and I purchased it um, via the phone so I used to go to these auctions all the time purchase in person but I, I travel a lot more so it makes it easier once you build that relationship they actually purchased these properties back during the recession 07 08 so they pay pennies on the dollar for them right and sometimes that's what people get caught in is when they pull up the the records of the purchase uh, price they say oh well I'm not gonna let this person make X amount of dollars on me and I've been there before trust me I've done that when I first got in the game I didn't know what a wholesale deal was and, and I was guilty of doing it um, but if the numbers fit in your portfolio and they make sense then I really would like you guys to challenge yourself and just, just jump forward we took possession maybe 45 minutes ago uh, but we don't play any, we don't play any games we get to it right away so my contracts are ready uh, so as soon as my parents get gets out of here in a couple of days i've already got the flooring ordered um so we're going to get the flooring in place we got about uh, five or six windows that got to be replaced in this property as well we'll put all new uh, fixtures up and uh, we'll get out of here so these are three out of the four parcels um, that i acquired the two rental properties and this plot of land here the last one over there was already cash flowing this one here i already got a tenant for and this one here, I'm sitting with the architect on Monday to draw the plans. It really worked out in our favor because of the potential of this area. You don't know what this neighborhood's gonna do. Just one street over is a historical district. Um, so you got potential to really change the property value here while still cash flowing maybe for the next five, 10 years. Um, so this was a unique package. Um, and the previous owner bought them right. He bought during the recession, um, he's selling at a time when he's looking to get into something else. So it made sense for him, it made sense for me. It fell in my portfolio of where I like my numbers to be. Hey Khaled, huh? what's coming up? Is daddy's birthday coming up? Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. For my birthday, yeah. I bought uh -huh. three rental properties for you. Thanks. Thank you. Yes. And you know what it's gonna pay for? Yes. It's gonna pay for your wedding one yes. day. It's going to pay for your college. Yes. So here you go. I know you don't know what this is. But that's for you, okay? What? And all your paperwork's in there. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. How many you need? 46. We get one for every tenant, right? It, no matter if you pay rent late or if you're on time, I'm thankful for you. So this is just something I do. I write a personal letter to everyone, let them know how thankful and grateful I am for them because I'm only as successful as they make me. Shout out to Sam's Club. Maybe you'll sponsor this next year. I think that'd be a dope sponsorship. Before you list, call Chris and I give you pies. Now I got my little helper. They are the reason why we are in the position that we are. And then I'm gonna hand deliver it to. So it's creating that personal relationship. It's different than sticking it in the mail and then you know mailing it off. You don't get the same effect. So that's what we're doing, right, Cal? So 
I brought everybody to um, an ET uh, Rise Up conference. I thought it'd be really good um, for anybody that I surround myself with, uh, like-minded individuals that are looking to rise up and empower themselves. So um, I'm looking forward to this. I think it's gonna be a lot of great knowledge that we're gonna get out of it. I'm looking forward to uh, following back and seeing what everybody got out of it. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Thanks for watching episode number two. Three key takeaways that I like you guys to focus on. The first element I like to focus on is being more selfless. I get more of a joy out of giving back than I do actually receiving. Uh, because the smiles and the emotions that you see, the raw emotions that you see from these individuals, because they're not expecting it, means more to me and is more fulfilling to me than anything. So I wanna thank you guys as my tenants for giving me an opportunity to give back to you and then also holding me accountable. It pushes me to be a better me. This birthday I'm giving back to my daughter. Not focusing on how many bottles can I pop this year? How many trips can I take? What's the biggest house I can rent out? These are all the things that I was focusing on prior to figuring out my why and my purpose, which we discussed in episode number one. I take my entire team to go see Eric Thomas speak um, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. The reason I did that is I'm only as good as the people I surround myself with, right? So if I decide to attend that by myself or just me and a buddy, I want them to be just as empowered as me. And the second one is personal branding. It's who you are, what you do, and how you bring value. In this episode, you got to see a little bit of that. I was able to purchase these parcels over the phone. And that comes down to personal branding. I was able to follow through, execute over the last 12 months, do as I say and say what I do. It has allotted me the opportunity to buy some of these parcels without ever being present. I never saw these houses, but they know on a purchase like this, I will follow through. What are some of the attributes you bring to the table? What are some things that, you know, key elements that stick out to you and you're really good? You might be really good at uh, personal branding, but you might not be so, you know, good in the area of execution. You might be really good at financing, but you not, might not be good in front of the customer. That is something you're gonna have to look in the mirror and see. And then what you do is you build strategically a team around you so they fill all the gaps that you do not. But while you do that, personal branding is extremely important, right? So if you know it's something you cannot do, do not promise it. Only do what you can actually follow through with. What does your personal brand look like to get it done? And the third and final element I wanna leave you guys with is changing your routine. So often I've heard, I go so hard for two, three weeks, or I did it and, and then I fall off. Or you know, you got peaks and valleys, right? It's your routine that is messed up, okay? So what I wanna challenge you guys with is start getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. We talked about that in episode number one. In order for you to change the routine, it is not gonna be comfortable, okay? But if you keep getting the same results because you put in the same routine, because you use the same action, that means you need to change your routine. And I wanna leave you guys with a quote. Your smile is your logo. Your personality is your business card. How you leave others feeling after having an experience with them becomes your trademark. And that quote's by JD. So that is episode number two. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I can't wait for you guys to see episode number three. I want you guys to be a part of the journey so you can understand what happened and how I got here before I can start educating you guys and you understand why I go about it this way. So I hope you guys have a good holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. Peace out. Love and joy. Catch you on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and turn your notifications on. That way you can see when I'm dropping the next heat. Peace.